G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me JD. So this episode we need to take care of some housework. We need to upgrade our power desperately um, because I really, well we really run the risk of uh, power shorting out just because we've sort of like expanded this and expanded that but haven't really done anything about power production. Um, which means... Yeah, I can just blueprint that as is and paste it right about here somewhere. And then have the robots complain that they don't actually have any of those things in stock. So we need to uh, request a bunch of them. Uh, make... Two of those because we can hook up the water at least um, where do those go they always hide in your inventory there uh, pop one there pop one there pop that in there that in there hook those up um, use an upgrade planner over do I already have one? I'll do. Uh, crappy power poles to better power poles. Upgrade all the power poles in there, which would vastly help things out. Uh, hook up a better belt. Uh, hook this power network to that power network. And hopefully, nope, they still haven't got to our inventory. Uh, it's alright, we'll go find an iron line to sit on and start handcrafting all the bits and pieces we need. Because I can just dump them out to the robot network and have the robots deal with it. There we go, that's half the parts I need. So we need 40 boilers. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 34... Oh. Don't want to make pipe. Don't want to make pipe. Not if it can be avoided. Uh, I'll take some more of those. We need a heap of iron. We need a heap of gears. Uh, I needed that pipe. We're making pipe in here somewhere. Which is, funnily enough... Oh. Uh... Yes, let's take that pipe and put it in that box. Uh, okay, how many do we have? We've got 33. Uh, one, two, three. I think it was one too many. 40, okay. And then I need 80 steam engines. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Whoop, nope, not doing pipe. Not doing pipe. Things are fairly easy to craft if you don't have to craft pipe. Um, when you start crafting intermediates, things take drastically a lot longer. Uh, no, we're still good. No, I'm now making gears. I don't want to make gears. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That'd be 60. Uh, 70, nope, that's got to be getting close, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 8, 80, okay, so now I've got an auto trash, I can actually set this to auto trash, and it'll just instantly move all the things across, I can also hold down shift and click and it'll move across the trash slot, uh, I want to trash that as well. I don't need those anymore. They can go in the trash. Lots of things can go in the trash. Um, which should give the robots everything they need to build this. Apart from, we're going to get rid of those two inserters. And we'll just put down a normal inserter there and there. Okay. So, robots are going to make more power. Good. First problem solved. Second thing we're going to do. 
is we're going to take an upgrade planner and we're going to start making red belt. We want to upgrade the whole bus over to red belt as fast as possible um, to get more throughput through our belts. Um, at the same time, all these places I was lazy and didn't do this. I want to upgrade and do exactly that. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of them. You know what? It's so hard to do this manually. All right. Let's get... Let's get a copy first. I'm going to copy that in its entirety. And then... We're going to do a... Delete. 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 Any more? Delete. Delete. Uh, the last one is fine. There's one there for copper. Uh, there's another one for copper. Another one for copper. That should do us. Go back to our paste. Paste that in. Paste that in. Paste that in. Uh, iron. Put that one on the end. That one in there. 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 Okay, so I've got most of those done. Green circuits. Uh, that one's going to be a little bit more tricky. that one get rid of that one get rid of that one uh, is that it no nope. there's more on the bus uh, again that one's gonna be a bit tricky uh, just roll my mouse wheel back to go back to a previous blueprint uh, Put that one down, put that one down, put that one down. Okay, so that's that done. Um, gears, I should do the same, although I have a feeling I left a gear belt all the way back there somewhere. So, yeah, I did. Uh, that's a later problem. That's a later problem. Okay, so now we've done that, we can take our upgrade planner and we want to get red belts all the way through our inputs. So, our steel is already running on red belt. Um, yeah, that's all red belt. But our iron is not running on red belt. So, we want red belt on the input. And we want to go halfway up the smelter block. Because we only need it to go to halfway point. Um, we need the red belt speed to here. By the time it gets to here at red belt speed, we've already pulled off half the material. So, then the other half can be at yellow belt speed. So we can use just upgrading half of it to save ourselves some resources. Um, and then we can do the exact same thing on the output. The first half will only be running at yellow belt speed because there's only that much material on the belt. The second half needs to be at red belt speed because by then we have that much throughput on the belt that we need to be at red belt speed because we're now moving twice the amount of material. But I can have the robots run around and start upgrading a lot of our main bus and a lot of our input. Now that we've got some faster mines feeding into the system. Um, stone, again, I only need half, which is like here somewhere, but it's just easy just to do the whole lot. And then output. So we want to go from there to there is red belt, there to there is red belt. There to there, there to there. Wanna upgrade all of this. Mm. Yep. Uh, I wanna upgrade all of the output here. All of the output on our iron. Okay. So, bunch of upgrades done. Uh, 
no, I don't really want. So what I've actually accidentally done is I've actually selected a bunch of red belt and said upgrade it. And it's trying to upgrade from red belt to blue belt, even though we don't have that. So I should actually set up one of these properly to just do the upgrade from one to the other. Which means all of this I can hold down shift and cancel the upgrade on. Because we don't have access to blue belt yet. And even if we did, it is so expensive. I actually don't want any of this on blue belt speed. But I can now take this one and say, okay, you, all of that, red belt, please. Same with this, all of this, uh, where we got to about here. I'd like all of that to be red belt speed too. And the robots could just go to work. They, they will just take care of it. Um, we don't have to worry about micromanaging them. Um, we can also get some more research done and... I'm literally just going to start ticking off research because like batteries mark two uranium processing labs go faster. Why not? Uh, let's get some explosive rocketry. Uh, discharge defense is the absolute worst research in the world. So we're going to skip that one. Uh, refined flammables. No, I don't even have access to that yet. Um, same time. We have a bunch of so far. We've been using these tier one assembly machines everywhere. Um, which have a crafting speed of 0.5. I can actually upgrade these to a tier 2 machine to have a crafting speed of 0.75. So I can get a little bit more speed out of everything by just literally upgrading everything. Um, so that's actually the very next thing we're going to do. We're going to use our one that we've already got. I'm going to say, hey, what? Um, I want all of this because this is our main production for more belts upgraded, please. I um, also want all the feeds in, in that sort of general area, also upgraded. Um, because we're going to start using a whole bunch more belts, which is going to be a whole bunch more iron. So I'd, all, I'd like all that to run a lot faster. Um, our gears are very, very important to our belt production. So again, I'm just going to upgrade the whole gear production. Um, very, very indiscriminately, just going to start upgrading masses of belts of the base up to the next speed, up to the next tier. Um, what research is holding us back? Uh, absolutely nothing. We have so much queued up that we're probably fine for a little while. All right. So with that done, going down our tech tree. Um, oh, things that we didn't automate. I never got around to automating robo ports. So let's try and get a belt in here for our robo ports. Cause that would be really nice. Uh, we're going to put a splitter in there. I'm going to bring my red circuits over to this our little make everything area. And then i got green circuits coming down here, which get used in a couple of places. But they don't get used in any super high quantity. So what I actually want to do is I probably want to use a half belt of green circuits and a half belt of red circuits. So somewhere in this mess, I need to merge these two belts together and we'll do it like that and then put this underground back and I'll have green circuits on one half of the belt and red circuits on the other half of the belt. So the next thing I need to do is Clean the green screen circuits off the belt. And we're going to do that by literally just popping them in our inventory. Um, that'll bring the red circuits down. And then we need somewhere to automate robot ports, which needs steel, gears, and red circuits. So if red circuits are here, steel is conveniently right there. Uh... And gears is here. So it's probably going to be a case of go right to the end. And make another one of these. Uh, we've got steel split for some reason. I don't think there was a reason. But if I do... Uh, where do I leave the gear production? 
that so they can go there. Uh, red underground. No. Uh. Yep. Uh, red underground to there. Red underground to there. Uh, bring the steel down. Put a splitter on it there. Bring it in there. And we can say, hey, you. I want you to make rubber ports. I want you to pull in that one, pull in that one, pull in that one, and output there. Roboport stacking stacks at 10. Three is probably more than enough. Do I have decent power poles? I do. It's gonna be slow. It's gonna be really, really slow. Um, but that's sort of fine. I can just throw materials in it to start with to get it up and running. Uh, is that going to cause us a problem? Yes. Okay. This one's going to cause us a problem because I've split and then merged. If I eat the green circuits here, in theory, it'd never be an issue, but it could be. So I need to fix this at the same time. So we're going to use a underground belt, which I'm then going to reverse, which will just side load into there. Problem solved. You're going to make rover ports fairly slowly, but that's fine. We'll have rover ports automated at least. Um, nothing's broken there. Nothing's broken there. My robots are all going to go place stuff as well. Um, okay. Really? Have you guys upgraded? No. There's a bunch of things you want to replace with red belt uh, with blue belt which is just not gonna happen dudes um, we haven't even unlocked blue belts yet okay back to our research um, is that all we really need okay uh, have we unlocked we have unlocked that okay so next thing I actually want to do is I want to our green circuit production is maxed out because we're built to here. Our red circuit production is much the same. Um, I'd love more. Turn that I need more plastic. Why do I need more plastic? Because... Oil? No. 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 We just need more refineries. Okay. More refineries we can work on. Same story. Um, now we have the power of the robots. We can copy that because we know that that's a a blueprint, a, 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 a repeatable pattern. I can paste that there, paste that there. Now I know I need three refineries. Uh, one, two, three. I'm making gears, unfortunately, even though I'm standing right beside a gear belt. One refinery. Actually, we should we should probably fix that. We should stop. We should stop being a pleb and having to run the belts to get stuff. So, we would like gears automatically put into the network. Um, I'd actually also like passive providers automatically built built. So let's do that as well. Let's do a few things. Okay. So, just somewhere right here will do. Doesn't really matter where you put things into the network. Um, we're going to do that. And it means now I can permanently request gears into my inventory. And I'll say, hey, at all times, I want 100 gears. Our passive provider bots will come pick up the gears from there, bring them to our inventory, shove them in our inventory. We'll be very, very happy. Um, let's come down here and look at our next little bit of automation. So we have storage chests, passive provider chests, which both need a steel chest plus an advanced circuit. There's actually three more chests that we can't access yet. Um, they're locked behind Yellow Science right there. So that is the active provider, the requester chest, and the buffer chest, which we'll get to when we actually research them. But I want to make sure that I have the ability to, um, to automate them when we get that far. Um, 
So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make sure... What do you need? You need both types of circuits, plus you need the chests. So we're going to bring this steel belt along. I'm going to put that in there to make that. I'm then going to output that onto a belt. Uh, no, I'm going to output that sideways onto a splitter, which we're going to take that way and that way. And then I'm going to bring this belt down for both our red and our green circuits. Yes, that shall work. Uh, so we're going to have an inserter in, a longhand inserter, a longhand inserter, a normal inserter, and then I'm going to repeat the process down here for For the other three chests when we get that far. Um, I also do want... I do want those in the network. Um, I'm now at the point where I, I really want everything in the network. Uh, don't forget to take my gear belt all the way through. Um, a spot to output. A spot to output. Right, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. We can then handcraft, hopefully, our last one of these. And count that to 50. So, if I then take that, I should be able to build one of those there. And that'll cap that one. Build one of those there. Build one there. Build one there for when those are done. Um... How are those sciences going? We are getting short of red and green science. Um, purely because it's got the least amount of belt buffer it can build up. And that's already on the, the upgraded inserters uh, and the upgraded assemblers. So there's not a lot I can do about that. Uh, put that there, that there, that there. Okay. So, I want to upgrade red circuits. Well, actually, we've, we've upgraded oil slightly. Uh, really, I need... No, actually, we're out of oil, are we? Where's our oil? Yeah, we just don't have any oil. Okay, new plan. More oil production. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 12, 14, 15, 5, 10, I'm making pipe, let's not make pipe, let's request some pipe, uh, pipe, uh, it's right here somewhere, pipe, five, five, Okay, so I want to go get that up and running, which I'm probably going to have to actually run over there and do something manually for a change. Uh, which is unfortunate, because I hate doing things manually. Uh, what else? I don't need that. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need the wall. I definitely don't need gun turrets anymore. I'm pretty sure we're done with gun turrets at this point. Now we have lasers. I need to drag my oil belt. Uh, my oil belt, my oil pipe over to where we are. Um, again, the easiest way to do this is with blueprints. And I can just copy and paste until I've got, well... A decent length. Unfortunately, first thing I'm going to do is turn the damn thing. Uh, go away. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. 
and I'm going to turn that off because our Robo port keeps draining all our power and therefore therefore my night vision never works is that right? no is that right? oh it's a ghosted pipe okay so we're going to copy from there to there and then I can paste these guys in and they'll just get built as robots come and blow things up. Perfect. Uh, so we're going to come down to here. Then I'm going to go sideways again. I think I'm just outside robot range now. Or maybe I was just in robot range, one or the other. Uh, paste those down. Paste that down. We're now in the general, the general area. Uh, power pole, railway port, like right there. Because I like having my robot coverage. And then, oh, just going to hold down shift and just drag over the top. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to turn on my own personal robots to do this because I have all the oil pump jacks in my pocket. Uh, come on, that one. I should be able to turn those guys back off. Yep, we've covered all the oil. Uh, so then we're going to plumb the thing up. Which we've done before. It's just a matter of playing dot to dot, so to speak. Join up all the pipes. Uh, you can go to there. There to there. Uh... Join with a bit of straight pipe and then underground up to here, across to here. Uh, bring power to one of them. Because I want to make sure that I see oil in every pipe. If I see oil in the pipe, that means I've made a connection back to the main one. Uh, there to there, there to there. Uh, sure. We're gonna bring you down to that tile. You up to that tile, you to there, you to there. Yep, I see oil. Uh, you down, you up. Mm, yep, yeah, okay. So, from there to there. No, from there, oop, to there. There to there, to there. So. Okay, I see oil, 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 more oil, more oil. Yep, they're all connected up to this pipe. So I just need to hook that into the main line. And then power everything up. And we can be as messy with the power cables as we want because nobody cares this far out. Uh, now, this is far enough out that I could actually run a train. Um, it is a fairly short distance, but once you lay in a train station, expanding over and over again is not that hard. Um, by the same token, it's also close enough. I can just plummet and I can just run pipes. Um, but hopefully that'll fix our plastic problem, which will give us more red circuits. Um, you've all got oil sitting in you. Excellent. Uh, okay, what are you guys complaining about? You're complaining about a whole lot of upgrade planner. Uh, 
Un-upgrade planner, all of that. You're now no longer complaining about anything. Excellent, because the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go from here to here, literally right across the whole bus. Um, we're just gonna 6.5K red belt, go nuts. Go nuts, bots, you guys have got now got lots to do. All right, we have upgraded lasers now. Our lasers are fairly powerful. We have this lovely gun turret wall that we have been using to defend us up until now. I'd like to replace it. Um, and you know what? I'm probably going to, between episodes, literally do just that. Just replace, sort of come down here, build across, build up. What do we have in the way of new combat? Uh, nope. I have rockets. Have we shown off rockets yet? No, we haven't. And we haven't shown off a flamethrower. So you know what? Next episode, we're going to play with a flamethrower. We're going to play with rockets. Because why not? So next episode, we'll build a little rocket build. Which we could probably build right here beside our gun. Our, our tank rounds. Um, so we're going to build that. We're going to make some rockets. Um, and I'll make a flamethrower. So, we'll do that in the next episode. We'll play with the, those those combat items as well. Because um, I'd like to show them off. Because this is a tutorial series. So, we're sort of going through everything step by step. Um, meanwhile, the robots are going to go absolutely crazy with 6,500 belt that needs to be replaced. Um, but it's fine. Because they're going to... We set up the recycling method. So, they're going to put... Thanks, tech. They're going to put belts into... The yellow belts into that storage chest... Um, and then we're going to auto upgrade them to the blue chest. And as you can see, we've got 300 belts being delivered already. So the upgrade system is definitely working. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right. Bye.